Okay, for this model, the, to set up the clock, there's a few things you need to do. You need to first uh, set up the city, the local timing, uh, calendar dates, as well as a uh, one-time setup for the uh, Azan time. So first of all, to set up the city, you have to press on the city button. Alright, so this is the city code. So for Singapore, you need to adjust this to 65. You can use the up and down button. So the fastest way is actually use the up button. So we're going to press all the way until we reach the number 65, which is Singapore country code. You realize later this will not adjust the time, but this will affect the calculation of the Azan timing. So you just press set. Okay, then uh, this one you just press set one more time. Okay, you'll see this number comes up. You just have to uh, put stop. Okay. So you may realize the timing may not have changed. It may uh, it is still the uh, wrong timing because the timing need to be adjust uh, manually for the first time. So uh, over here the slide button you push it all the way to the back. Okay, all the way to the end to the clock logo then you adjust the time so you look at the clock right now what is the time okay make sure you adjust according to a.m. or p.m. so right now it's already 9 o'clock in the evening uh, while I'm doing this so I'll adjust it to 9 okay so the minute is 05 which is not correct at the time I'm doing this video so I will actually press set to move on to the next one which is a minute and I'm going to the actual time that I am actually at right now, which is 9.35. Okay, and you can realize the date is also not correct, so I'm going to press set again. All these need to be adjusted to ensure that uh, temperature no need to set. Okay, just press next to ensure that your Azan timing calculation is correct at a later point. Okay, it's 2023 while I'm doing this. Set. Okay, the month right now is actually June. And set the date. Today is 19. Okay, you can double confirm again and see the day is the correct or not. Okay, make sure it's the day that you're on today. So once all this is done, you just press set again. Okay, so this is uh, the other date which we can calculate and after that you can just push it all the way back to normal. Okay, once you push back all the normal you can see uh, the date is really comes up. Okay, you can also see that the other timing actually based on the country code and the date that you put in they have do a, a calculations. Okay, which usually is correct. But if let's say you want to do minor adjustment, there's uh, maybe one or two minutes that's different. You can actually push it to the slide button to the Azan logo. Okay. The one that you can adjust is actually the first Azan timing of the day. Okay, but uh, because to, right now it's night time, I cannot really change the Azan timing for today. I can, I can actually set the Azan timing for tomorrow morning so you can actually go on the internet and check what's the Azan timing for tomorrow morning so uh, 5 a.m. I'm not going to change I'm just going to use set to go to the minute and do the minor adjustment say tomorrow's uh, Azan timing is going to be the first Azan timing is going to be 537 okay okay I can just use up and down so once it's done I just press set Okay, and then I just go uh, scroll back to M. All right, you may not have seen a change right now because it is still reflecting as today's Azan timing, so which is today's morning, which is already over. So you only will see the change tomorrow morning. Okay, or the next day for the for the updated one. Okay, this is how you do the setup for the clock. Thank you.